Stampers, Deb Valder here, your fun Stampers journey coach, and today I'm going to show you how to do this card with some really awesome little products that we have. One of them is our stencil and one of them is our rosette die. It's just absolutely gorgeous and so easy to do, but it really gives you a little bit of a wow when you see it in person. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to take and start with our background. All right, all of the measurements for these are on my blog, but I'm going to take a piece of our whipped cream cardstock. I'm going to take and put a little bit of adhesive on the back so it doesn't move on me. And I'm just going to take and um, glue it down to the bottom here. Now the first thing that I'm going to use is this amazing little new stencil that we have. It's in the um, Bloom This Way mini catalog. It's called the Pinwheel Rosette Stencil. And it is got some amazing pieces on here, you know, like different sizes. Um, some people say to me, I never need a, a stencil that big. But what this does is it gives you versatility. So you can use that. You can use this and each piece for your little tiny card um, actually lends itself to be um, a, a very nice piece. All right, so um, I'm just going to take and do, oh, look, goodness, there's so many options. I think I'm going to stick it right here. Now, I use some of our washi tape to hold this down just so it doesn't move as I am um, putting on my, my color. All right, so I'm just taking, and now this is, this is glued down, and so is this. So now everything is anchored. So when I bring in my re-inkers, and for this project, I'm going to use re-inkers, and I'm going to use my dauber. I have used Cool Pool and Sweet Pear. Um, they're just so pretty, and um, I'm just going to take and um, pick up some of the color from here. I don't want to pick up too much color um, and it will, it will, um, this will lighten up for you by tomorrow. Now let me just show you the card. This started out to be very dark but as it dries it lightens and it's beautiful. Now what I want you to do is to know that um, we're going to apply different pressures and in order to get the light and the dark like I have here we're going to fade it out so we're going to do a darker here and a lighter over here and let me show you what I mean by that. So if I start out here and it's it's pretty dark I'm going to take and I'm going to feather it and feather it and feather it so that it just lightens up as I'm going along like that. See? See how it's dark right here and then I feather it and I feather it to where there isn't any color at all. Okay, and then over here, I'll do the same thing. I'll go dark and then just feather and feather. Okay, so I have some dark spots and I have some light spots. So dark here, let's feather it, let's feather it. I even leave some white, all right? All right, let's go a little bit darker right here and then just feather. Okay, let's just do a little bit of light right there. All right, now what I can do is I can just lift this up to see if I like what I have so far. <gasps> Look at how beautiful that is. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm very happy with it. So I'm going to take my stencil off, and this part of it is done for right now. So we're going to set this aside to dry a little bit, and we're going to work on our little rosette. So here is our rosette right here, and let me just show you. I'll bring in our new die. It's called the Spiral Lines Die. It is on back order, so make sure you get it now and get yourself in the queue. All right, it's been a very popular die, so get yours now. It's called the Spiral Lines Die. All right, and what I did was I cut out the Spiral Lines Die. What this is really used for is if you were doing a card, let me just get my base and I'll show you what I mean. If you put this on the inside of a card like this, anchor this little piece here in the middle, and then just anchor this to the top of it. When you opened up your card, it's got this cute little boingy thing that's on the inside of it. So that's kind of what it's made for, but I'm gonna show you something else that you can do with it, and that is to make this little rosette. So here is the die. It cuts everything out for you. What we're gonna do, because we don't want a rosette that's, that's that big, so I'm gonna just take my detailed scissors here, and I'm gonna cut off two of these circles right here, all right? So I'm just gonna cut off this one and this one and just use this part right here see I just cut off two circles and I don't even need those so I'm going to throw them away and then I'm going to take now I have a quilling tool this is a kind of a lost art but um, this is a quilling tool if you have a hard time finding a quilling tool you can just take a very small straw and put a slit in it and when you do that, it look, it works just like a quilling tool. So that would be the poor man's quilling tool. And then what you're going to do is stick your paper in between the two of those just like that. I've also used a skewer. And if you put a little um, glue dot at the end of a skewer, you can do it the same way. All right. And I'm going to take these two fingers and just kind of guide this as I'm turning this piece right here. So basically what I'm doing is just winding my circle 
my little spiral around whatever tool you're using, whether it's a skewer, whether it's a straw, um, they all work really well. And all we're trying to do is to make sure that we have um, this centered around this piece right here. Okay, it gets a little hairy at the end, but you just keep on going. Okay, there we go. And we're not gonna go all the way to the very end. We're only gonna go to probably right about there. And then we're gonna undo it and see we've got about that much left over. Let me just cut this little piece off right here. We have this little piece left over. So what I'm gonna do, believe it or not, is just let this go because I don't want it to be that tight. See, and when you let it go, it just kind of unravels a little bit and that's exactly what you want it to do. I'm gonna take some of our Journey Craft glue here Okay, and then just put that in the middle right here. All right, and then take and lay this down like that. All right, now what I'm gonna do because I'm gonna keep on going is I'm just gonna lay something on the top of it so it dries and I'm gonna show you how I did the rest of the card. So that right there is drying, all right? It doesn't take very long, but there is a little bit of drying time because of the liquid glue. Now I'm gonna take these two pieces right here and I'm gonna ink up, this is such an old stamp and I love it. It's one of my favorites, it's called Sweet You. It's got some beautiful little sayings in it and it's got these two little whimsical flowers. So it's called Sweet You, um, it's in the big um, annual catalog. It's an, older, it's an older stamp, I love it. All right, so I'm just gonna take and ink that up with my black licorice ink. Now this obviously is not gonna fit entirely onto this little tiny square piece of paper, so you're gonna pick and choose what you want to show. I want most of this to show, but not all of it. All right, so I'm just gonna stamp that part of it just like that. So there's no right way or wrong way to do this. Um, and that's what I have. So it's part on, part off. Now what I need to do is to color it. So I'm going to grab one of my blender brushes. I've just got my re-inkers right here. I'm bringing in um, both of those. And I'm just going to start coloring. And I'm just going to clean that off just like that. Um, and that's all we did. I didn't, I didn't um, use any Fusion Blender because I'm not blending colors together. I just whimsically uh, colored one color. This lightens up as it goes along, we're good to go. All right, so here's that. We're gonna add that to our little square base, all right, with my Easy Glide. There's that. Okay. So there's that. And now um, we've got our, our little base right here. We're gonna add that. We're gonna start adding our layers. Now I took the um, rosette out of here. Remember, I, I always save paper. You guys know me. Here's my base card right here. We're gonna take and add all of our layers together. And because the rosette gives it so much dimension, I didn't add any um, pop, pop dots to this at all, any of our journey foam squares to these, um, to, the, to the layers. All right, and then we're gonna take and layer this on. Now, do I want it to go that way? Or do I want it to go that way? I think I'm gonna do it that way. So you have a couple of options also um, when, you're, when you're layering this on here. And then once you get this on here, you can even layer this, okay? So you can either put it down here, you can put it up here, you can put it off to the side. I think I'm gonna put it off just like that, off to the side over here. So I will add some um, foam squares to this part right here. All right. And uh, maybe I'll put it down here. I don't know, there's so many options. Maybe over here, off to the side, just a little bit. All right, so it's not, it's not I just love doing it differently, okay? So now we have this, and it's definitely dry by now. You can take and fluff it up. You can kind of bend it down if you want. Um, there's a lot of stuff you can do with this little guy right here, too. So I'm going to take some more of my um, Journey Craft Glue. I'm going to add it to the back, and you'll notice I didn't color all of that in. That's because this is going to be over the top of that one, just like that, okay? And now we just have the rest of our little bling to put on there. Let's do that right there like that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my um, sparkle silk, okay? 
you want to take and uh, shake it up. So this is our sparkle silk, and what I'm going to do is to just add a little bit of it to this piece right here, just to give this little rosette some bling. All right. It just looks so pretty with this sparkly on here. So pretty. All right, so there's that. Now, I have taken sparkle silk, and I've added it to one of my blending brushes, okay? This is my small blending brush, and um, I know that because I put some sparkle tape on here, so this one is designated just for my sparkle silk, um, but I wanted it to be more controlled, so I put them in, into one of my small blender brushes, and now it is so much more controlled than this big brush. So there's a reason to use the big brush, and there's a reason to use the little guy. If ever this gets clogged, just run it under hot water. It's kind of like hairspray. You can just run it under hot water, and um, it unclogs. All right? So I'm just kind of adding this. I See, and that's why I wanted it more controlled, because I didn't want to go over all of the other pieces, like all the black and stuff. I wanted it to just be, like, just a little bit here and there. So I'm just kind of doing it to all of the the blue pieces, the cool pool that I, okay, and then just a little bit down here, and we're good to go. Isn't that so pretty? But we're not done yet. Because this is just filled with bling, I need to add some of my, my pearls. So let me grab my bloom tool, and I'm going to add a big pearl right here in the middle, and I'm going to add a little pearl, not a little one, this is a medium-sized one, and I'm just going to add that right here. And then my card is done. Isn't this so very, very pretty? Look at that. Now this will lighten up to be as light as this and then it all just kind of blends together. Look at how pretty that card is. Now for this one right here, what I did was I opened up the center just a little bit so that it, it wasn't so tight like that one. And what I did was I added a pearl right in the middle of that. I'm not sure if you can see it or not. Yeah, you can. See that little pearl right there? So pretty. All right, if you have any questions, you know how to get a hold of me. Um, I love to answer your questions, so get a hold of me. You take care, have a great day, and hop on over to my, my blog for all the details. Okay, take care. Thank you for stopping by.